Greetings. In this video, I'm going to provide a brief introduction to Duet 8 on page 37 of the Christopher Parkening Classical Guitar Method, Volume 1. My first recommendation is to be intentional about your pulse in this piece. I'm going to be playing this one at about 100 beats per minute, and we want to count it in three, not in two. The temptation is to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But it's written in three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So watch out for that. I would encourage you to practice articulating verbally, speaking that rhythm as you do it. And once it's easy for you to do that, you can sort of count inside your head and listen to it. Also try practicing with the metronome, but make sure that you're doing two notes per click instead of three. The other thing I would point out as you're learning this piece is that there are only four different measures in the entire piece. So if I were to give each measure a letter, then the first measure would be letter A. So the first two measures have the exact same content. The following two measures would be letter B. And then letter C. Back to A. So if we were to structure this entire piece, it would go A, A, B, B, C, C, A, A. A, A, B, B, C, C, A, D. The last measure of the entire piece being just a single low E that rings out for three full beats. That's pretty simple. So all you have to do is really memorize four different measures and then combine them in different configurations, which is very structured and should be relatively easy to learn. I know that a whole page of music can look overwhelming, especially when you're new to guitar. So I'd encourage you to look at this structurally and you'll see that it's not a whole page of music. It's just four different measures combined in a relatively simple structure. When you see it that way, it shouldn't be nearly as intimidating. And I encourage you, you only have to tackle a couple of transitions and you'll do just fine. Let's go ahead and look at how to transition. So going from A to B, so measure two to measure three, I'm gonna do this. I have this open strings, and then all I have to do is hit a different bass note with my thumb, and then I'm gonna to have to hold down this C with my left hand index finger. What I would encourage you to do is rather than start from the beginning and get tripped up at the transition, we just practice that transition. So what I would encourage you to do is actually just play all four notes at once. Here's the A chord, and here's our B chord. It's not an actual A major, minor, anything like that. It's just the label that we've designated this content in this piece. So here's chord A and chord B. If you can get to the point where this transition is easy for you, then Try adding the texture in. So the lowest difficulty would be this. And if you can't do that, then you won't be able to do something that's even more difficult. So approach the difficulty in a logical manner. We want to start by making it as easy as possible and making that doable. If that's doable, then the next step will be manageable. And then after that, the next step will be manageable. If you practice in that manner, then you will conquer music much more efficiently. So I encourage you to deconstruct challenging transitions. These ones aren't especially bad, they get a lot worse. So if these are tripping you up, then do the work to conquer them. You've gotta just break down things step by step and be very patient. If you do that, you will grow as a guitarist very quickly. I will be playing my recordings at 100 beats per minute. That's what the headphones are for, is to keep me on beat. And I would encourage you to play along. First, practice with the student part and get used to just matching that beat perfectly. Once that's easy for you, listen to the teacher part. Remember that I nod the pulse, so we have a one go. That tells you how long a beat is. So watch out for how long is my head bob, and that'll tell you what pace we're gonna be taking this piece. 
you'll get a feel for it, especially once you've played it a number of times. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that this is helpful to you.